Bills, bills and more bills. Just how much does your household energy consumption eat into your monthly budget? Do you feel that what you're paying is fair? And have you ever considered switching to renewables? Theresa Griffin is authoring a parliamentary initiative to get a better deal on energy for consumers. She wants bills to state the facts clearly and give consumers the tools to switch to cheaper suppliers. The report also aims to help the most vulnerable. Figures suggest that 50 million Europeans live in energy poverty. Somebody is in energy poverty if they're having to make a choice, for instance, between heating their food or paying their energy bills, or if they live in southern Europe, putting their air conditioning on because it's very hot outside and people are actually dying because they're frightened of the bills. This cannot be right in 2016. It's a scandal. Reduced charges is what we want to achieve. Competition, of course, is vital for that. And indeed, empowerment of individual consumers maybe to work on the cooperative model so they can uh, supply their own energy. And I think there's a huge uh, scope for that. It happens in some countries like Denmark. And I think it is something we would like to see given to all communities into the future. A future of lower bills and more choice could be the way ahead for consumers if MEPs have their way. Seems to be